How you doing everyone? It's Reese here from Musket Brewery and today we are brewing Fife and Drum. For a brew day, obviously there's a few things we need to do before. So making sure we have everything that we need, the malts, all of the hops, the yeast, everything is clean beforehand. Brewing in the winter is different to brewing in the summer. So we had to up the temperatures and just compensate a little bit for that. At the start of the morning, we filled the hopper. The amount of malts and the type of malts obviously depend on what we're brewing. Colour is obviously one thing I need to take into account, but obviously the flavour profile is also important. So for Fife and Drum, because we're going for a golden and we want that full bodiness, we use between 350 to 500 kilos of dry malts. That will go up the conveyor into the mash tun. Once it's sat there for an hour, all of the goodness is sunk to the bottom and then we need to rinse those malts. So obviously the first bit that come out is gonna be really at a high concentration. I need to make sure that I'm getting the right amount out of the malts. So we have a little thing called a refractometer. What that allows me to do is see exactly how much sugar is in a sample to make a beer that is 3.8%. We can then transfer everything into the copper. The malts contain some very small particles which we don't want going into the final product. So we have a filter. When we transfer into the copper, we want to make sure that we minimize the oxygen pickup as much as possible. So when we fill from the bottom, we can then start the burner just before it starts to boil. We'll add hot settle boil for an hour. And then just before the end of the boil, we'll add some hops for the aroma. They're only in for about 10 minutes. We then need to get ready for the transfer into the fermentation vessels. The beer then needs to ferment, which takes normally around about four days. Fife and Drum is one of our most popular beers, and it's even won a few awards. Got a very interesting flavour, a bit of honey in there, a little hint of marmalade, a little hint of spice in there, and it's surefire entry point into musket beers. Yeah. 